All right, let's do this. I want to do something different. Let's um, show me coming in and putting the stuff out. Welcome home, life. Oh, goodness. How are you today? Okay. All right. Let me focus. Let me focus. I was trying to um, get myself settled. I wasn't going to do a video because I'm hungry and I want to eat, but I just got out of church. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just run this video, hurry up, and then I can go ahead and get started with cooking. But I went by the Dollar Tree today, so I wanted you to, um, I wanted to share some of the healthy things that they have at the Dollar Tree. So the Dollar Tree now has stepped up its game. They have a lot of vegan choices, a lot of healthy choices for us to eat. I don't like this segment. First of all, I lied and said I went today and I didn't go today. I went yesterday. Oh no! So I don't like that. I don't post this. Ed Rewind it back. Don't post it. Hi, welcome home life. How are you? I hope everyone is doing good and having a blessed Sunday, a happy Sunday. I hope your preacher didn't stay um, talking too long so you can get out of church so you can eat. <laughs> Wrong spirit. <laughs> but y'all know when you go on Sunday, we go to Sunday morning service. You just sometimes want to like, can we go ahead so we can get home to this fried chicken? I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. <laughs> but hey, hey, let's move it along. That's not what I'm here for today. I'm here to tell you about some of the healthy things that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I went to the Dollar Tree. Let me tell you, don't be sleeping on the Dollar Tree. It's no longer just unhealthy food choices. They have a lot of good things in there, a lot of healthy things. And guess what I found at the Dollar Tree, y'all? Oh my goodness. This is my favorite, the pink Himalayan salt. Yeah. <laughs> now, okay, for some of you who are not hip, I don't know if you've been sleeping on the rock. I don't know where you've been, but pink Himalayan salt is the number one go-to. It's the healthiest salt that's on the planet because it it um, adapts well with our blood levels, our sugar levels, and it is very accommodating for the body with people who have blood pressure issues. It's even good for people who don't have blood um, pressure issues. It's just a very healthy salt. It has a lot of good minerals that the body needs. It helps with our brain function. I mean, just Google it. Just look up the benefits of, or go to Pinterest, look up the benefits of pink Himalayan salt. So I just really like this stuff. Now, let me tell you why I use it. I'm not using it because of all of those benefits. I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm using it, but I'm using it also because I like the way it makes me feel because I noticed when I was using the, um, I used, I mean, don't get me wrong, kosher salt is still good, sea salt is still good, not the iodized salt. I don't like the iodized salt, period. That's not good for us. That's good for washing clothes or cleaning, but that's not good for us to um, digest. But the pink Himalayan salt, I noticed with my own body that my um, high blood pressure always remained normal and balanced. I also noticed that I don't get those headaches. Even when I was using my sea salt, my kosher salt, for me, it um, I still experienced a little bit of, like a slight headache and I still was taking my blood pressure meds and everything. But I noticed that I have not had a headache for at least two years now. I haven't had a headache hardly um, from, from sodium because that's where most of my headaches came from, mainly sodium intake. And um, I love this pink Himalayan salt and it comes in two different forms. There's a shaker form and then this form, you, this one you can use for um, 
You can use this in your tub. It's also good for um, detoxifying the body. Like you can take like, I would say like a little scoop and just spray it, you know, just pour it into your water and it's going to like melt down. And then it's, um, it's very um, relaxing of detoxifying the body and it, and it brings all of your, um, your, Hmm. I would say like your stress levels down. It just it just puts your body like in a hmm, like a, like a like a peaceful moment, a zen feeling. So I love this, um, I love that it's in this bag. I love that it is a dollar. Like, I will make a dollar holla, okay? <laughs> so, um, and it's at Dollar Tree now. Not Dollar General. You know, there's a lot of different versions of the dollar store, but go to Dollar Tree. The one in my location, my area, they sell this. And I found it like on the bottom level when I went to where the seasonings were for, um, you know, all the like little spices and stuff. And it was way back under there. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna probably clean that um, Dollar Tree, that bottom out. But yes, do not sleep on the pink Himalayan salt. It's too, you need the bag or you can get, you know, the little shaker. So these are just some of the things I got. Um, oh yeah, I brought some soap, you know, hand soap. I love this soap, this antibacterial soap, it really, um, there's a lot of antibacterial soaps that I use, but this one is good for you, like um, um, if you have like sensitive skin, and I noticed it doesn't make your hand feel like a Brillo pad. You know how like, you wash your hands a lot, and then you got that that um very insensitive feeling on it, like um like dryness of the skin. I like this soap. It doesn't do that. It doesn't dry your skin out. So I got that. I bought me some mint garlic. Um, this is the one. I think this one's in water. I believe it's in water. But you know, garlic is good for a lot of things. I just love it that it's a nice size jar. It's gonna last me a long time. Remember to refrigerate it after you open. And I love that um, this one smells good. So I love this brand. So this was at Dollar Tree. And I bought me some garlic powder. I like the, I always read the ingredients to make sure they don't have any other extra things in it. But I like this garlic powder, this, this brand right here. You can't go wrong with a dollar, but it, it has a nice smell and you know, it really, if you like garlic, it seasons very well. Okay, another healthy alternative that I found was the um, coconut oil. This one you can put in your hair. Uh, you can use it to cook with if you wanna cook with it. You know, this is good for that, for those who um, like to cook with coconut oil. My mother um, used to make us um, this delicious, uh, coconut fried chicken where she just put the coconut oil and she seasoned the chicken, the little drumettes, and then she would put the coconut oil on top and then she would just stick it in the broiler. Oh God, this is so good. I need to try this with an air fryer. I didn't think about that, but I might try this with an air fryer, this coconut oil. But that's a good, you know, a dollar for um, coconut oil. And this is the pure refined kind. I also like that it's women owned you know, and it has non-GMO, so it's like really healthy. It has a lot of good stuff. And then you're supporting something good when you purchase that. Um, now, let me tell you, I am not gonna tell you how many bags of this I bought. I did not put all those in the clip because that is none of your business, but <laughs> I love these, y'all. These are so good, like, oh, these are so good. Now. I am only speaking to people who are chip eaters. Let me read you the benefit. First, let me tell you what these are. These are guacamole chips. They taste just like a Dorito. Like when I had my, um, when I, well, when I was diagnosed with the blood pressure issue, they told me that, oh, you can't eat chips, you can't be this or that, you have to use certain kind of things. You know, I went to little cooking classes and research, 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 like what kind of chip. And I and see, for me, I don't have to go to a class to know what something is affecting me with high sodium because I just get these really bad headaches. So when I was eating the regular chips and I love Doritos, like I, they are a smelly little um, chip to eat, but I love them. But 
the Doritos had so much salt on them. So I like these with, okay, I'm gonna read you, I'm gonna read you the um, serving size of a healthy chip versus a unhealthy chip for people with um, high blood pressure issues. So a serving size of chips, I'm reading this off of Google. It's just one ounce, which would be about 15 legs, 15 lay chips. That clocks in at 170 milligrams of sodium or 7% of the daily upper limit for healthy adults. Of the one ounce servings range from 50 to 200 milligrams of sodium. So I know I said a whole lot with that, but these um, chips, the sodium intake is 140. Now, when I was um, taking the class, you want to stay at least under, um, you want to like, okay, the average serving for like a bag of Doritos. A Dorito chip is about, hold on. The average serving for a Dorito chip is about 270 grams of sodium. So, those were, and that was another chip that I love eating, but used to make my head hurt. So, y'all, these guacamole chips, if you close your eyes, they taste just like some doggone Doritos. And guess what? My head did not even hurt with eating this. So this is only for people who like chips. And this is a healthy chip. Okay, I read it because being that I am such a G at eating stuff that, especially chips, this one, this, this company says that they call El Sabroso guac chips. So they only use the finest avocados. Now I love avocados for one thing. Only thing, my problem with avocados is picking out the right one. And then when I want to pick it out, say for instance, I go to the grocery store and it's not ripe enough and I got to wait three or four days for the thing to ripen. It's so annoying. So um, by the time I'm eating it, I don't even have a taste for it anymore. But I love guacamole, so I'm kind of getting lazy, so I'm eating the guacamole that's already formed. But the best one is the kind that you make yourself. However, these chips are made from guacam from avocados. And they are so delicious. Like, they are so good. Like, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. I'm just going to look around the different Dollar Trees, and I'm probably going to clean out their little chip out when it comes to these right here. But y'all, don't sleep on these right here. These taste just like Doritos. Like, they taste like Doritos, but they're healthier and they're good for you. They do have the regular sodium, so, um, not the regular sodium. I'm talking about the, um, like, salt, like, you know, sea salt, regular salt on it. However, they are so delicious, and they're made from avocados, so try these don't take my word for it just try them yourself and see how you like them they're delicious so i brought a couple of bags of that and you know one day i'm going to make a lunch with these so i can show you how you can um add this to your lunch like if you crush these up and put it over like a spinach with some beans and things and oh y'all that is so good that is delicioso but i will make you know, summertime's coming up, springtime's coming up. So I'm going to make some different lunches with that. Some, I mean, different meals with that. So you can see how delicious they really are. But the great thing about that is it's a healthy source, a healthy choice to eat of a chip. Now, I already had took these out the package, but I just had to speak on these right here. These little um, scent little things you push the button in the back y'all these are so good if you want to make your home smell good now they make a lot of these um different scent things like um this one is game my favorite one is game and then this one is lilac now they have different ones but y'all these things really are powerful like i really like those now i am a person that loves for the house to smell good I, and I work at my daycare I want my daycare to smell good I want it like a welcoming even in the bathrooms I just want everything to smell good but sometimes when you're using different scents and things they don't work or they're too overpowering or they may be bad on someone allergies not these little suckers right here these things really give a big punch they smell real good when you come into your home, even after they're like barely used, you can stick them in your closet. I take the empty ones and I stick them in the, the, the closet or the um, garbage pail. And they really still leave a nice scent aroma. 
So get these. They're two dollars. I think they're like three dollars for one and two for four dollars. Maybe five dollars if you add the um change with it but they are so worth it now my favorite one is the um game one i love game that's if you like the scent of game but the game one to me I, I love that scent so it gives a nice powerful um powerful scent and they last a very very long time and there's a lot of air fresheners out there that they have on the market and they may seem like you know they talk real good about them on tv but these right here these even outweighed my plugins like they outdid the plugins and the plugins are continues going because you know that's like electricity. But these right here, no. I gave these to my daughter for her apartment and then the one that's in uh, a dorm and her dorm and stuff, they smell so good. She she even um the one in the apartment is like, mommy, these things really work. So don't sleep on these when you see these at Walmart. Get you some of these right here. They are worth the money and buy them in bulk because they run out of them quickly. So Okay, now I want to read you some inspiration for today. I don't want to do any broadcast without not saying something encouraging to you. All right, this one comes from Isaiah 40, verse 29. He gives strength to the weary and, and increases the power, the power of the weak. And then the title of this inspiration is He'll Revive You. May God revive the areas of your life where you've lost hope and expectancy. May you grow to believe on a whole new level that Jesus makes all things new. He can make something out of nothing. May you look up right now and dare to believe once again. God is on his throne. Jesus prays for you and the Holy Spirit moves on faith. Don't let go of hope. Believe that God redeems. Rest in the reality of God's awesome love and power and faithfulness. He'll do for you what you cannot do for yourself. So isn't that just so invigorating? Isn't that so inspiring? When, um, like for me personally, I think about my life, how so many people that, you know, my family that helped raise me and love me and nurture me and they're no longer here and i'm trying to say this without crying but they those that set is not any that is no longer here however you know god sends other people into your world to help you know um encourage you empower you but isn't it awesome to know that god is always watching out for you like he's always looking down on you like when you don't even want to um go to work for <laughs> the upcoming week or you just don't want to do that pile of laundry or you just there's just certain things you just don't want to do you just i just don't want to do it like i just really don't want to be bothered right now but god he 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 is there to encourage you like you you call on him and you talk to jesus you like you tell him exactly how you feel like i do that all the time like I tell God exactly how I'm feeling and you ask God for things that's going to um, be specific. You have to be specific. The law of attraction is so, and this is a whole nother segment, but the law of attraction is so similar to the, to the Bible. As a matter of fact, the, the Bible is like the law of attraction. So people, you know, they can say what they want, but you know, you have to have faith in order to see something. It's just like when a woman goes to the um, doctor and they're telling, and the doctor says, well, you're, ex you're pregnant. You, you don't see the baby there. You know, the baby's not there where you can hold it. She probably can't feel it when she first find out that she's expecting. However, in nine months, she starts growing. She starts getting bigger. She starts feeling things. She starts, you know, her body's changing. She's noticing when she goes to her appointments, oh, there's something there. She sees her ultrasound and then there's the baby at the end of the nine months, like a blessing. However, when you first hear about it, you don't see it. Like when she tells her family and friends, you know, they don't see a baby, but they do congratulate because it takes time. So that's exactly how you have to take those thoughts you have to put that towards things that you want in life. Like it takes time. It's, it's annoying 
waiting. I am very impatient. Like I want it now, now, now. Like I'm ready to eat right now. I wish I had a chef. <laughs> I will have a chef. <laughs> so they cook this Sunday dinner sometimes. So sometimes we'll just go out to eat. And then when we go out to eat, I'm picky with that too. But let me not get on that subject. <laughs> However, um, you have to um, wait on the Lord. Know that he's got your back this week. Know that I am praying for you. Pray for me if you are sincere, loving, um, compassionate. Say a prayer for me. I don't ask everybody to pray for me. But just know that I am praying for you. And I am practicing those good positive energy and positive things. And know that we're going to have a great week. I forgot one more last thing. I would like for you, if you have it in your heart, the Lord's moving on you. Something positive. Please subscribe to the Welcome Home Life channel and write me a comment or if you want to send me a prayer request, what you're praying for, I'll, uh, we'll believe with together for whatever that you're praying for and hit a thumbs up if you like this video. I do appreciate every last one of the subscribers that um, just take out the time just to hear what I have to say. I do appreciate you. I thank you. And God bless you. Today's shout out goes to this person. And remember, you are always, always welcome home. And thank you so much for watching.